Delivery numbers for Q3 are in, and uh, I'd say they're good. And employees are getting a huge incentive to test full self-driving. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 456 for October 3rd, 2018. The easy lead story today is Tesla's announcement of production and delivery numbers for Q3 2018. And yet again, Tesla's output increases by a seemingly improbable number. After last quarter's numbers were released, I predicted that Tesla would deliver at least 65,000 vehicles this quarter, and even mentioned that they might beat this number significantly. I was pretty clairvoyant then. In total, Tesla delivered 83,500 vehicles this quarter, 55,840 of which were Model 3, 14,470 of which were Model S, and 13,190 that were Model X. As I believe I mentioned in, at the last report of deliveries, remember that Tesla only delivered about 100,000 vehicles in total last year. And here we are now nearing that number in just three months. This is astonishing growth. Truly, the S-curve is on its way up. On the production side, 80,142 vehicles were produced in total, 53,320 of them were Model 3, and a combined 26,903 were Model S and Model X. A fair number of cars were still in transit at quarter's end as well. While not the huge number of last quarter, 8,048 Model 3s and 3,776 Model S and Model X were on their way to owners at the reporting deadline. Of note on the Model 3 production is that the dual motor variant was the majority of cars produced this quarter, and in the final week exclusively dual motor cars were produced, and 5,300 cars were completed. This meant that a production rate in excess of 10,000 drive units per week was achieved to make this happen. This is stellar news, particularly from a profitability perspective as it relates to lower trim cars. The drive unit line can now theoretically supply 10,000 cars per week if rear-wheel drive cars are the ones being produced. This is also great news for those of you waiting on the base car, as this is a major section of the production process that now seems to be at full speed, thus ticking one of the boxes to allow production of the base car to profit. The time frames on the production of the, of the base car have been slowly trickling downward on the design studio, and hopefully some good news on this front will be finally reported soon. In the U.S. specifically, Inside EVs reports that they believe that Tesla deliver, delivered 22,250 Model 3s in the month of September. This is just an outrageous number compared to the competition, considering that the nearest competitor not bearing a Tesla logo, once again the Toyota Prius Prime, couldn't even notch a tenth of these sales. Even Model S and Model X easily beat the competition, putting Teslas again in first, second, and third places in the U.S. sales for the month. For more perspective again, let's look at Model 3 compared to its competition. Last quarter end, I reported that Model 3 had outsold every EV competitor for the entire year in the month of July alone, except for the Prius Prime. This time around, no EV period has sold as well all year as the Model 3 did in this month alone. It's a stunning achievement, and one I'm not sure has an equal anywhere in the commercial world. Looking forward, I'm going to make another prediction for deliveries. I believe that across all vehicles, Tesla will beat its 2017 number for deliveries in Q4. Even if the S-curve levels off somewhat, they should be able to make that number. We'll see if they can make me look good again. Congrats on a phenomenal month and quarter, Tesla. Here's hoping we get good news from the financial side in a couple months when those numbers get released as well. Ending the show, Bloomberg reports that some employees are getting a massive incentive to help Tesla test the full self-driving capabilities of the vehicles. Bloomberg obtained an email saying that the company needed about 100 more testers for the full self-driving program, which I'm guessing they had no problem getting after seeing this offer. In order to grease the wheels to get volunteers, those selected for the program would get the full self-driving suite as well as the premium upgrade package at no charge. That's a $13,000 savings for anyone lucky enough to get into the program. If I were an employee and I was even remotely considering a purchase, there is no way I could pass that up. Not only do you get the $13,000 discount, but tax incentives as well. The only requirement of the program is that participants have to log a minimum of 300 hours of testing before the end of next year. I'd say that's an easy price to pay for the privilege. Congratulations to whoever made it in. You're some lucky folks, to be sure. 
Check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks, as always, to our super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Rammer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sport Line, Michael Pastroni, and Travis and Cheyenne Rush. If you're looking to purchase a Model S, Model X, or Model 3 Performance, you can enjoy $100 in free supercharging credit and hook me up with some Tesla swag by using the referral link ts.la slash jim50888 to purchase your vehicle. That's ts.la slash jim50888. If you can't support with dollars, though, feel free to leave a positive review for the show instead. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again on Friday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.